Hello and welcome. Today we will be conducting a lab that teaches our students that different charges repel and like charges attract. The name of this lab is Charge to Race. Now the materials we will need for this lab include party balloons, string, wool cloth, scissor, and paper. The Sunshine State standards in this lab help students investigate and explain that an electrically charged object can attract an uncharged object and can either attract or repel another charged object without contact between the objects. The inquiry question for this lab is, hang two inflated balloons of the same size from the ceiling and have them touch each other. Using the materials on the table, A, find a way to attract the balloons with one another, and B, find a way to repel the balloons from one another. Create three rules on how you would cause a balloon to repel or be attracted. The conclusion statement for this lab is, the balloons become negatively charged when rubbed with the wool cloth repelling each other and attracting small pieces of paper at the same time. Now we're on to the lab portion of this activity. First, you want to hang two pieces of string from the ceiling. Now have your students collect the rest of the materials and they can begin the lab. Now you can see here we have two balloons hanging from the string. I've marked each balloon with an X for demonstration purposes and what we're going to show you is how we can apply static electricity to each balloon and the balloons will repel one another. Now the key to applying the static electricity is we want to make sure when we use the cloth that it's, we're rubbing in the same direction on each balloon. So the first one's done. Now the second one. Okay, now we're going to make the two X's line up to one another. I'm going to hold the green balloon and we can actually watch as the blue balloon will be repelled almost immediately. Another thing you can have your students try is if they have a balloon that has static electricity, they can take tiny bits of pieces of paper and they can put them, and since the balloon is charged, the tiny pieces of paper will stick to the balloon. Now some possible questions you can ask include, how can you charge your balloons? Can you figure out a way to get the paper to stick to the balloons? How about your hair? This concludes today's lab. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time.